If you're a regular OneNote Class Notebook user, here are some helpful tips that can ensure your class notebook runs smoothly through the school year. Some of these things we've come across as we've been using this the past few years. And one of the first things that you can take a look at is the setting your printouts to backgrounds, which means if you insert Word documents or PDFs into your content library of your class notebook, instead of locking them down individually by right clicking on each document and then setting it as a background, you can preset a setting in OneNote so that everything is automatically locked down as soon as it gets inserted. In order to do that, you will open up OneNote and you will go to the file menu and you will click on options and once options opens up you will click on advanced and you're going to scroll down to the area that reads printouts and you'll see an option that says automatically set inserted file printouts in the background so if we click this and click OK the next time that we insert documents, let's say, into our content library, they'll already be set down into the background. And this is very advantageous because when students pull copies of this into their own notebooks and they need to annotate on top of it, it will lessen the likelihood of the document moving around as they're trying to annotate on top of it. Something else to keep in mind as you insert documents into the content library of your class notebook is if your original document has hyperlinks inside it. If you have inserted a document, which here is a little screenshot of an example of a Word document that's been inserted into a notebook, the hyperlink that is on this page is no longer active because when you insert a document into a class notebook, it's basically taking a screenshot of your document. So what you're going to need to do if you want to ensure that your students have access to any of these links is in your notebook, you can see over here there is a link in this document that I've inserted. However, I can't click on it. It's not an active link. So if you have younger students and you want to avoid having them to actually go to a web browser and type that out, you can just add the web link outside or just next to the document so that the students can click on it and get directly to the website that you included in the inserted document. Another t helpful tip I have found is the distribution of content from the content library. While the new class notebook toolbar um, does enable you to distribute pages to all of your students from the content library so that all the students have it and you know it went into the correct section, um, every so often there's a, a little glitch with it. And so what we have found that works best is two different ways to do this. One being is to distribute pages from the content library early, meaning not waiting until five minutes before class is going to begin. And we also encourage our teachers to distribute when the network traffic is a little bit lower. So sometimes before school, before the students come into the school building, network traffic is lower and then they're able to distribute more smoothly. The other helpful tip that you can use is to distribute from the online version of your notebook if you don't already do that. They have recently added in the online version of OneNote the class notebook toolbar. So if you have a page in the content library that you want to distribute and you click on distribute page here you can distribute a section a page in your notebook to all of your students and because you're working the online version um, you don't have to worry about the syncing process if you're using the full desktop version so this is just two different ways of possibly ensuring that any page that you distribute distributes quick one thing that you may want to pay attention to every now and again is the notebook recycle bin. Um, we have no noticed as we get towards the middle of the school year that notebook sizes can get very large. And when notebook sizes get very large, that can slow down the syncing for students. It can slow down the syncing for teachers. And the recycle bin will hold on to pages that have been deleted by the teacher or by students for 60 days before they are permanently deleted. So if you find that you have a lot of stuff in the notebook recycle bin and you find your notebook is kind of slowing down in terms of syncing, you may want to check and just empty out the recycle bin. And you're simply going to go into OneNote, go over to History, go over to Recycle Bin, and if you want to double check before you recycle it, you can check to see what pages will come up. If you have a lot, you'll see a long list on the right. And if you want to get rid of everything permanently, you can click Empty Recycle Bin, and that will delete everything. And sometimes that will free up some space in your notebook and ensure that syncing of notebooks will be a little bit quicker. Another available option with your class notebooks is the ability to lock or unlock the collaboration space. Um, occasionally the collaboration space can be misused or perhaps you just want to keep it under lock and key for a while until you're actually going to be using it with your students. 
through the online version, you can actually lock the collaboration space. So what you can do is a couple of different ways you can do it. But if you have the class notebook toolbar in your full desktop version of OneNote, you can go over to Manage Notebooks, which will launch. And you may need to log in. Once you've logged in, you will see a list of any notebooks that you have. And you will see underneath each notebook name an area that says Lock Collaboration Space. So by default, it will be unlocked. Um, but if you do need to lock it so that nobody has access to it temporarily, you can slide this over to lock and then it will be locked from everybody in the class. If you ever find yourself searching for something in your notebook or you're searching for a particular student's notebook, there is a search feature built into OneNote that you can search for anything by keyword, by author. Um, so if you're in OneNote and you just click inside the search box and you just type in whatever it is that you're looking for, um, it will bring up anything related that it finds in the notebook. And just by clicking on it, uh, it'll jump to the page and you will get it. And it idea of what notebook it's in or where it's in um, over here it will load up some more information if you hover your cursor on the notebook it'll tell you exactly where it is this can be a very important tip if you are a PDF user and you insert PDFs into the content library of your class notebooks uh, we found this out the hard way that PDFs are tend to take up a lot of space in a notebook. Um, when they're saved or if they're scanned as PDFs and they're inserted into the content library and then distributed to all your students, it can make your notebook really get very, very, very large. So what I have encouraged teachers to do is to actually save their PDFs if they are in PDF format and need to insert them as a reduced file size PDF. Now we have the full a professional version of Adobe so this allows us to open up any PDFs that we have and go over to file save as other and a reduced size PDF and this will dramatically reduce the size of any PDFs that you're inserting if you don't have access to the full Adobe Pro version there are some free online converters that you can find that would probably do the same thing so once teachers have re saved their PDFs as reduced file size, they can insert them into their class notebooks just the same that they would their regular PDFs. Lastly, one of the tools that our teachers have found very useful lately is a OneNote Web Clipper tool, which basically is an add-on for Chrome or Firefox, and they probably have it for some of the other browsers, which will actually clip articles and sort of neaten them up for you, and you can insert them into any section of your notebook. Um, so just as an example, here's an article that I want, might want my students to have access to, but I may want to avoid the ads or, and everything like that, or I may just want to keep them into the confines of my notebook. So I have this OneNote web clipper over here and when you click on it what it will do is you can choose the type of way you want it to be inserted into your notebook full page will just come in as is it's not really doing any editing you can do region where you actually take a clip of it um, I per personally like the article version because it sort of cleans up the article it will take pictures um, that it thinks it's important it doesn't always take everything you can also add your own note in here so directions or instructions that you want and it will also include the hyperlink to this and once you load once you log into your office 365 account which it'll prompt you the first time you use it all of your notebooks will load and then you can click on your notebook click on the content library and put it wherever you want and it does a really nice job of neatening up the article and then your students can access it from the content library so these are just a few tips that we've kind of learned along the way as we've been using OneNote Class Notebook the past few years. I'm sure there'll be other tips that'll come out, and I hope that you find some of these tips helpful to ensure that your notebooks run smoothly for an entire school year.